This guy does stuff. Yes, he yeah. does. I believe, I don't know if it's the, I don't know the fucking titles of it. I don't know if he's in the House. I don't know if he's in the Senate. What? I don't know what his actual job is. <laughs> uh -huh. I have no idea. He's a congressman who was able to ask questions to what? somebody that was supposed to have all the answers whenever it came to UFOs and aliens after the Pentagon had decided to release some stuff. We thought we were going to get some real information. We didn't get shit out of that whole <laughs> thing. But we did learn about was this man out of Wisconsin's 8th Congressional District. Hell yeah. Marine. Congressman Mike Gallagher. Yeah. <laughs> what an honor to be here. My gosh. This is awesome, guys. <laughs> you look fantastic. Uh, Congressman, at it. Oh. Congressman, the shirt, honestly. Oh. Yeah. That was, uh, I mean, that was a part of the conversation. <laughs> that was part of the con uh, conversation last time. Because, what I wear. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I didn't know this about Congressman, but as soon as you walked in, big pop out of everybody. Oh, yeah. That, that is what you choose to wear, and we'll dive into that, obviously. We got uh, extras in the back. Very we'll nice of you. Thank, Thank you. God. Very, yeah. very nice of you. All right, let's dive into this. Um, you have been incredibly kind to us. You have reached out to me when, uh, to keep my eyes peeled for potentially something that's coming when it comes to UFOs and aliens and everything like that. With what just took place allegedly in Vegas and mm -hmm. everything else that seemingly be smoke, 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 smoke everywhere with this, are we anywhere near a time where you think from the information that you have as a congressman, which I still don't know what the fuck that is, but as a congressman, are we going to get any info, you think? Is this really going to be something in our life soon, you think? Yeah, I actually do. So if you think about what we've done since I was last on the show we had that hearing which i think everyone agrees was completely unsatisfying yeah. we didn't get any answers i asked some basic questions about historical incidents they couldn't answer so what do we do after that we actually passed with uh senator rubio and, and senator gillibrand in the senate so i'm in the house they're in the senate there's two aspects of congress boom okay, okay. There there it is. all right there's boom. an electoral college too this thing's yep. crazy right you got a president house. you got yeah, executive <laughs> yeah. Board, branch right? schoolhouse yeah. rock it's crazy got yeah. it yeah figure it out we're there uh, uh, so we passed the big aliens bill. And so this aliens bill did a few key things. One, it created a, a one-stop shop for all UAP reporting, something called ARO, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. So if somebody has information they think is relevant, if somebody's working in the intelligence community, if someone is working for a defense contractor and they have information related to UAPs, they can report it to ARO, which is critical. We also task Arrow with doing a bunch of homework, so doing a historical report on every incident going back to 1945, because again, they couldn't answer basic questions about the Malmstrom incident. So Arrow owes us a bunch of reports looking through the historical records. And then most importantly, and this is absolutely critical, we created kind of the mother of all whistleblower processes where if you want to come forward, but you're afraid of being punished or afraid of breaking what's called a non-disclosure agreement, an NDA, we have a process where you can talk to Congress or you can talk to Arrow and say, hey, I saw this, I saw that, I was part of this program. And so that was a monumental piece of legislation. And what's happened since we passed that is all sorts of- How many? are coming out of the woodwork. How many people do you think? Like, we're talking hundreds, tens? Uh, for the whistleblowers that we've spoken to in Congress, I can't talk about who they are or the precise numbers, but we have had people come forward. Senator Rubio talked about a, a few people that he's talked to last night, I think, in, in a public uh, forum that he had. So the old rules were... Uh, whenever you'd see something, you'd have to report it, chain of command, obviously, and then you sign an NDA, you'll never talk about this again. I think there's a lot of documentaries that kind of have people that say, I was told directly not to talk about this, and then they're on the documentaries, either their faces or things, or their voices are kind of diluted. Now you guys are saying you can break the NDA that you were told by one point, yeah. come to tell us because we need the information. Why is now the time we need the information right. more than ever before? Because we keep getting more of these incidents that people are reporting. I think with as... Uh to technology gets more ubiquitous and democratized. People have more access to imagery and things like that. It's just impossible to deny. And for the first time ever, at least in my lifetime, as a result of, I think, that hearing and the destigmatization of this process, because the other problem was, even if you had legit, like, top gun pilots coming forward, they were getting ridiculed by all the people that they worked with. Mav? Right? I mean, Ma Mav, Iceman, Goose, what? Yeah. Rooster. Yeah, people oh. talking shit on Mav. I, I, I didn't know Guy. Mav was coming out saying stuff age. like that. It doesn't uh, age. Um, <laughs> Mission so, Impossible coming up. Uh, so, now, um, so now with this whistleblower process, people are coming out of the woodwork. We've also had people separately that are, coming, that are going public and doing interviews based on claims that they're making. Dave oh, yeah. Rush did an interview with The Debrief. Um, there's Chris Mellon uh, has written an op-ed recently, and they're claiming that there is a 
a long-standing program to reverse engineer crash materials that people have discovered on the Earth that could have extraterrestrial origins. So all this discussion is happening out in the open like nothing I've seen. And I think it's a result of the hearing and the legislation. We've got a long way to go, but it's coming out there. Yeah, Whistleblower said that we have craft and yeah. being. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Holly, Josh. Josh Holly. Josh Holly. Senator. I almost dropped the Todd in there. So he's from the different side over there, right? And Rubio has spoke about this. They've basically come out and said, what we've been hearing is very similar to what this whistleblower has heard. Is that from the hearings that you guys set up from this new Aliens Act where you have to sign NDA? Alien. And is everybody kind of telling the same exact thing? <laughs> uh, again, I have to be very careful come about on! protecting the whistleblower <laughs> process. Oh, but God. it is through the whistleblower process that people are contacting Congress and going through a debrief process where they're saying they've been part of this or that program. And we ha again, we can't reveal the precise nature of what's been said, but we've had a variety of pretty intense conversations. How do you guys lay that out, you think? Once we get enough information, you guys just say, all right, flop them out. This is the alien. This is the UFO. How does that information kind of get rolled? Because the boys have some ideas. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, it, there's a lot of different ways we can go about it. Do we know if they play sports? And we would obviously like to get involved in yeah. that entire mm -hmm. aspect. We'd like to compete if they would like to compete. And if they want to fight, we got some motherfuckers, too. You know, mm -hmm. if they, mm -hmm. they want to do that, we can do it. But how do you feel like the rollout, the introduction to the world, would go about actual aliens and UFOs if you were to have it. So part of the homework we gave Arrow is they have to do a twice a year, and they have to give us a classified briefing. And once a year, they have to do an unclassified briefing. Usually when we get these unclassified briefings in written or in spoken form, they're unsatisfying. They don't really go into the details. So I think once we've compiled all this information, and there's other stuff we have to do, we're going to pass hopefully another piece of legislation that Rubio is doing in the Senate and I'll do, do in the House, which basically says if you are part of any reverse engineering, crashed, exotic materials recovery program, you are not allowed to access any government dollars, but we'll offer you amnesty to come forward and report to us. Because the claim that Dave Grush and others are making is that these programs exist and they're in violation of the law because Congress is unaware of them. So we have to smoke mm -hmm. that out in mm -hmm. order just to examine that claim. Mm -hmm. And I think if we have a better body of evidence, then we could come forward with it. I am in favor of transparency on this. I think the American people, I think. That's going to be a shock yeah. factor, though. It's a yeah, big yeah, time. I mean, that, yeah, that's yeah. going to fuck yeah. up a lot of shit. Well, it's, it's not the worst case scenario, though. Think about it. I would actually, depending on uh, what the intention of the aliens are, if indeed it is extraterrestrial. And last time I was here, we went through all the different hypotheses, right? To include the Terminator hypothesis. So yeah, hold on, though. Cool. from the future. If it, maybe it is potentially time travelers or whatever, yeah. which would be crazy. No. That would be absolutely crazy. <laughs> yeah. Probably that orange globe we yeah, saw. Yeah, the portal. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we all saw that. But if it was, which some people just try to write it off as, and I know AJ and all the boys have questions, I apologize here, but if they were to write it off as foreign threat or like a different country stuff, we're still fucked, right? Because they have stuff that can do stuff that we don't have, right? Well, that, that's my point. That, in my opinion, could be the worst case scenario. If it's yeah. China or Russia and they have advanced technology... That we can't even sniff, right? We can, and we can't even understand the physics of it. I mean, some of the things are going Mach 5 and changing direction. I mean, but if it was them, they would already use that, right? In what scenario? That We haven't fought you know, a force-on-force -force great power conflict with either. I mean, we're basically involved in the proxy war in Ukraine right now, but we haven't gone. The Ch last time the Chinese fought a war was 79 against the Vietnamese. Didn't end well for them. So, so they send a balloon know. over to say, this is what you guys got. Yeah. Well, that's, so that's the other thing that's happened, right? So in addition to people coming out of the woodwork, people going public, uh, to the media with their reports, we had four balloons shot down over North America, which I don't remember the last time that's oh. ever happened. Now, one of these, the Chinese spy balloon, we've been briefed on, but the other three, including one that went over Lambeau Field, Ty, mm -hmm. all right? Yep. That was when they crossed. I know you're a Packer fan, I agree. Right. Um, Team looks new this year. I don't know if they're going to have any aliens on it, but. Yeah, maybe. One <laughs> certainly left town, went to play. Jordan yeah, Love might be an alien. Yeah, we yeah. don't know. Yeah. With Deep voice. Deep voice. Yeah. Good player. Anyway, mm -hmm. AJ, you have any questions for Congressman Gallagher? Yeah, I do. You mentioned committees. I know you're on uh, uh, multiple committees. Aren't you on a committee? Something to do has to do something with China. What is that doing? And, and what do you think? The other question would be when people try to tell you this is a big distraction from something going on. What do you? What's your answer to that? What does that even mean? What are we just getting distracted from? Well, let me take it in reverse. At all times, you're saying, mm -hmm. yeah. not just right now, right? Well, it, you, yeah, you yeah, mean, right like, now, alien especially as a distraction. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, there's stuff appearing on our training ranges. And we don't understand where it's coming from. So as, a, as someone who focuses on defense and the defense competition with China, 
we have to figure that out. We, ha we have to be able to control our Rangers. Otherwise, you're putting pilots' That's why you're so passionate about this. In jeopardy, right? That was my entry point into it. And also now I'm just curious about answering the question. I think there's actually a bigger issue, too, of people losing trust in government, trust in institutions. This should be an opportunity for the government to be transparent. If we have information that disconfirms the UAP hypo the, uh, the extraterrestrial hypothesis or all these other ones, at least shows the government doing something competent and being forward-leaning by declassifying information to the public. So for those two reasons alone, I think it's worthy of investigation. And the third one that I'm probably most interested in is whether it's adversary technology, particularly China. So I chair the Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party in the House, and we're in charge of developing a comprehensive strategy for how we beat the CCP over the long term. In my opinion, the CCP is by far the biggest threat we faced. In some ways, it's bigger and more complex than the threat we faced from the old Soviet Union and the old Cold War, and beating the Chinese as they attempt to do a variety of things to undermine our sovereignty, you know, send uh, fentanyl into America, killing 80,000 Americans a year, threaten war in the Pacific by threatening to take Taiwan. That, to me, is the biggest national security issue. That's what I'm in charge of in the House, and this is a small subset of that overall effort, if it's adversary. Got it, got it, got it. So that's how you tie into it, because if it is who you are supposed to be trying to keep up with, yeah. you are just trying to tell everybody, we're fucked. If they got this, uh, I don't <laughs> yeah. know if I got the plan. Yeah. Uh -oh. We're going to have to grab some other people, yeah. <laughs> maybe some outer-worldly thoughts, and kind of get it going. Do you think around Washington there is a... Um, uh, like a lot of obstacles for you to get this answer? Yeah. Isn't Washington just like, I don't know much about your world, okay? At all, <laughs> on purpose. I try to stay out of it. Seems like everybody that gets into your world, measurable. Our friend Anthony Gonzalez. Man, oh boy. Man. You guys One of the best guys of all time. Yeah, cut him yeah. down at the knees. He, he got into politics. We told him, pal, what are you doing? Don't go in. Everybody, everybody's got, everybody that I know in real life that gets into politics, they just literally spend their time yelling at people. They have zero expectation of changing the way they think. They don't think they're going to be able to change the way other people think. They're just always pissed off. I try to stay out of it. Like, just for the good of me. At some point in my life, I'm going to have to pay attention. I get that. But now is not the time, and hopefully not on a foreseeable future because I'm enjoying what I got going on. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. But you guys never get shit done, right? Isn't that kind of what the whole thing about Washington is? You guys just yell at each other the entire time? Who's yelling at you, stopping you from leak leaking or finding out the actual alien stuff? Is there, like, an actual adversary that doesn't want anybody to, to know anything? And then why aren't we just questioning that person? Well, I think, uh, I th so first of all, I, on China, I think there's actually a lot of bipartisan interests. Like, we're working together. Hell Democrats yeah. On our okay. Hell I mean, yeah. I think, I think your average American, even, like, who doesn't follow politics, is on board with us beating the Chai Comps in this competition. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Uh, is that what you guys say in, like, group text, the Chai Comps? Chai Comps, yeah. yeah. Chinese Communist Party, Chai Comps, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Chai CCP. Oh, yeah. God, God I'm worried about the Chai Comps with this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good luck out there. <laughs> yeah. Good luck out there, Chai Comps. <laughs> um, I think, actually, the biggest source of resistance is just people, it's almost like they're embarrassed to talk about the topic, right? They think they're going to be labeled a crazy tinfoil hat, mm -hmm. conspiracy theory, Got it. Looney Tunes person. So just by having these discussions out in the open, I think it goes a long way. And most of the resistance is just from the bureaucracy in the Defense Department and in the Intelligence Committee. I have about five requests right now of the Intelligence Community, things they owe me to come back on related to UAP stuff and they're deficient on all these requests. So that just, might not come for, what, a year, two years, six months? Maybe. I mean, so that historical report is due next summer, and I, my understanding is they haven't even started drafting it right now, so right. I'm worried that they no, won't. That's getting pushed. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So that's going to be move. pushed more than Avatar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which have we asked about? That might be. It could be. James yeah. Cameron, maybe. Well, is it, mm -hmm. So the other hypothesis we didn't talk about last time is that this could, as opposed to being uh, us from the future, it could actually be an ancient civilization oh my that's just God. been hiding here. Oh. For all this time. Like Transformers. And it's suddenly showing itself right now. I'll smack those old fucks in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, okay. Huh. Yeah. Well, as you know, if they're from this planet, I feel good about us. Yeah. Pat, this is why we need you to get involved in politics. On the an alien no. <laughs> no way. Just a single issue voter. Nah. No. Like, nah. T like Ted and University. Nah, I don't need to get into any of it. You, that's the thing. I'm thankful that you're out there. Yeah, you big. think more, more of you people are good people or than bad people? I would say this. When I ran in 2016. Oh, that's a no. Yeah, okay. I, it's, when I ran in 2016, I thought the problem with Congress is that it was just all corrupt and super old people. And certainly we have too many people that have been there for too long, right? This is why we need term limits. Well, those kind of go hand in hand, don't they? Yeah, and the more you get there, the more swampy you get. Mm. And then these people go and they lobby for, you know, this company or that. Or they lobby on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party, actually, because our Foreign Agent Registration Act processes are totally filled with loopholes. We Whoa. can't even get Gumpy in here. What Whoa. are we talking about? We got Chi-Con people in here? Yeah. What, what the hell? What is the deal, AJ? 
Uh, I actually think there's a lot of, you know, people that come in who want to do the right thing. We're getting a lot of new members, young members, people from the private sector, people from the military. And in some ways, I've changed my opinion. I, I, I'm not sure the problem is just the people per se, but the people find themselves in a process that, that sucks, where you basically have to choose, okay, am I going to do 20 years in order to get to a position of influence? And then finally, if I make it up that greasy pole, maybe I'll be a committee chair you know, and I'll be able to do the things that I first wanted to do when I came in, or they're just like, uh, I'll just be a, a bomb thrower on social media or on cable news, and I won't be constructive at all. So it's the mm -hmm. process that I think takes good people, and it just chews them up, and it spits them out. So fixing the process and reforming the institution of Congress, I think, is the thing you need to get better people to run in the first place, but also get those people to perform when they're in there. Yeah, so that's never going to happen. Sweet. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, uh, that's the my only take on it all is like I can't separate the political pundits from the yeah. politicians. Mm, yeah. yeah. Like, hey, the if you're a political pundit or activist, like, all right, I get you being vocally everything. Yeah. yeah. But if you're a politician, like, yeah, your ass is in there to fucking enact this stuff we don't need you starting all the like I, I think there's no separation between yeah. the activists and the politicians like politicians are supposed to execute what the activist is looking for but it feels like when the politician happens this is very slight knowledge of the situation it feels like they just become activists in a chair as opposed to somebody that actually gets stuff done like in reality you know what i mean yeah i think as as congress gets weaker like, and this That's is, the one you're in. Well, yeah. Well, co Congress is both the Senate and the House. Fuck. It, it, <laughs> Which is the one he's, he's in. He's definitely yeah. in yeah. I'm in it. That's what yeah, I've been saying right. this whole time. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm one of 435 in the House as yeah. opposed to 100 senators. Um, so as Congress gets weaker, which is actually a, a, a scenario the framers did not anticipate, they were concerned Congress would get too powerful. And they said it would suck everything into its impetuous vortex was the phrase they used. What's happened in the modern era, That's really starting Whoa. in the 70s, the executive branch, the president and all the executive branch agencies has grown more and more powerful. Congress has delegated all its responsibility, but members of Congress are still power hungry and they want to, you know, they want to be famous and they want influence. So they're going to the route of media in order to increase their power and influence. So they're becoming kind of like C-list social media celebrities as politicians as opposed to constructive legislators. Yeah, you're going to yeah. become C-list celebrity. Uh -huh. Get that down shirt. there talking yeah. shit. Yeah, that whole thing. I, I don't want to say that I have no hope for it all, but I don't know enough about it to have hope. I liked hearing that you've changed your mindset, though. Yeah. You know, you said it. Yeah. I just thought everybody was corrupt or old. Big. Now it's a little bit different. That's good news. You've been in there. We have not. Yeah. And I'm happy to hear that you're at least coming on here for this particular discussion. I feel like that's at least a step in the right direction. Go ahead, Connor. Yeah, Congressman Gallagher. Uh, at the point, <laughs> at, at this point, on the internet, it's almost like you see a different, you know, alien video every day. Whether, like, yeah. legitimately yesterday, there was some, you know, sphere similar to what Pat said that he saw of, and it was splitting. And Vegas. it was in Vegas, and yeah, it just happened then, yeah, in Vegas the other day, that family where a kid gave, like, a six minute testimonial about what that was about and how they heard stuff on the roof and everything like that. But there was one recently, and it was about a guy in the military. And he said that he actually saw a bunch of things being loaded onto some massive ship, and then the ship disappeared. And then after that, someone came up to him in uh, a uniform, but no, no labels, no name tag yeah. or anything, no specific country. And so I'm not going to ask about some secret shit like that, but is there some sort of thought that if there was, you know, aliens and the threat that they would want uh, Earth for themselves, that the countries would kind of have to come together uh, in some sort of like, hey, yeah. obviously the CCP can go to hell and we don't love what a lot of communists are doing. And I won't mention anybody else, whether, you know, there are specific people or on shirts in this room. But isn't that a worry that if Bill Belichick? No, no, no. Uh, no, no. Thanos. This, this is kind of like a Thanos. No, that's shirt. Bill Belichick. No, Bill, <laughs> no. Bill Belichick's not a communist. I can, uh, no, we agree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can take that's that. That's why you, what you were saying was crazy. Just today. anybody, Sean. I wasn't sure if AJ had his Chuck Berry on underneath his or mm -hmm. anything like that or, you know, anything specific. Not just in general. Uh, but is there some sort of, you know, thought or at least conversation? Not, you know, the United States with the CCP, but even Canada, Mexico, London, or, or England. Yeah, e exactly. Like, is there a kind of emergency plan that the world almost has if things do go very, very badly in this type of alien war? So if there's an emergency plan, I haven't seen it. One okay. of the arguments people make for transparency for if there's information, just get it out there, even though the shock value 
would be high for sure is that it might actually spark collaboration across country, mm. even potentially with China, at a time when geopolitical hostility is super high. Yeah. Yeah. Which would create a, a lot interesting situation for me, given that my day job is to figure out how we beat the CCP. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then yeah, we've got to work with them on the aliens. Put, put, really put your swords aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Swords yeah, hey, listen, we're all, yeah, I'm going to deal with you, though. Okay. But Not now. For now. Because we got a little something coming. Put our yeah. swords down. They're talking about it. Loading heavy machinery onto it. Yeah. And, then, and it was like 300 yards long, it said. Yeah. Right? Three football fields. Yes. Three football fields long. And then it just vanished out of nowhere. No sounds or anything. That person could have just been making right. it up, but it sounds like too many people are making fucking things up at this point. Well, that's probably, I mean, you know, we have over 500 reports since, I think, three years ago when some of this stuff started in earnest. The overwhelming majority of those are not going to be legit, right? They could either be explained away by natural weather phenomenon or you know, the observer error. But there still remains a subset of reports that people can't explain away. I mean, obviously, the most prominent one is, is the Tic Tac video, mm -hmm. which is you can't, you can't discredit the pilots because they're legit pilots. Even some of these people that have come forward, like Dave Grush, who's the most prominent, he's the elephant in the room right now, he's an Air Force veteran. Who's Dave Grush? He, uh, he is an Air Force veteran with tours in Afghanistan. <clears throat> he worked in the intelligence community for a long time at both the National Reconnaissance Office and the National Geospatial Intelligence uh, Agency. He has now done an interview with the debrief. He did a public uh, interview, I forget on what, uh, what platform, where he's making the claim that there has been a long-standing program whereby people find materials, and in his, his, one of his claims is that there's intact machinery and yep. craft that they found that, that is not of this world, that's exotic or extraterrestrial in its origin, and that we study these in an effort to reverse engineer it. That's the claim that Dave Grush, Dave Grush is making publicly. And right. you guys are saying it's illegal because Congress doesn't know about it then. He's saying this program is illegal because it's not subject to regular oversight by Congress. Got it. And we're trying to figure out if such programs exist and create a mechanism through which people could come and talk to us about it so then we could figure out, A, is it legitimate information, and B, what the hell do we do? About that seems like that? a pretty legit guy, though, saying something pretty serious. Yeah. Uh, if not him, then who do you talk to? The intelligence committee this guy's yeah. on? I am. And about you. Bingo. The okay. impossible mission forces. Fa forces, forces. Yeah. obviously, yeah. a mission impossible, same thing.